Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. I'm out in the jungle again, just got off a secondary trail, and it's good to be out after a few days of raining. So it's been really raining here. Everything is damp and wet. It's hard to start a fire with uh, natural materials unless you really process the wood, split wood, and really get into dry wood if you can find any. But I thought I'll take the time to share my Molly System Survival Belt Kit for hiking and bushcraft. That's that right over here. So let's look for a spot and I'll break it down. All right, so here we have my Molly System Survival Belt Kit. Um, this is a battle belt, at least that's what they call it now. But basically it's a belt uh, with all these slots. Uh, which go with the molly attachment system now i really like the molly attachment system because i think it's really sturdy it's lightweight previously years ago when i was a scout we used to have belts but they were the old style belts that use alice clips now alice clips are metal clips which can spring open uh, i really did not like those those were heavy well they contribute to the weight because they're metal but they would also spring open and you'd have to put it back and sometimes they would jab into you just because of the design so the molly system came later i never got to use it uh, until now and i really like it i think the attachments are very secure and everything is lightweight and you never have to worry about you know losing clips or things getting unsnapped and getting snagged on something and falling off so for the purposes of modern hiking and bushcraft i think this is fantastic and you can buy these belts in various forms basically it comes in um, i guess two parts there is an inner belt which is basically velcro and then there's this outer nylon belt and the way you wear it you actually put it on you and you put the velcro in place and then you have this quick release here uh, which obviously you tighten it uh, so that it'll be the same size around your waist but to release it you just pull that open and then you rip this open you can of course detach the velcro inner belt completely and that will make it lighter uh, but it also makes it a bit uh, less comfortable because this does form some padding so personally i just keep it on but this is my belt in kind of a ranger green and why don't we just start off on this side uh, which is my right side to see what we have over here so this is where i have my compass uh -huh, big clue there so i have shared my Kaminga compass previously in a previous video so do check out the link in the card above or the description below so I won't go through that I do have a very small multi-tool here this is the Leatherman squirt and I think it's just good to have uh, a tool uh, mainly to fix gear if I really need to get into I guess small parts so there's this blade the scissors of course the pliers um, not so much really for jungle survival uh, because I don't think it'll do much heat outside here but for repairing gear or to just to do some really really fine work if I just need a quick access to a small blade I have that there and I've got some fire cord with a lanyard over here and all that goes into this pouch over here here I have my fixed blade if I do not carry my parang or machete which has a built-in survival kit which I've, which I've shared previously as well then I bring my fixed blade which is the line steel m3 and uh, I've also talked about this knife before, why I chose it. You can check out the link in the card above or the description below. And this is a great knife, great for bushcraft. It's nylock stainless steel. Uh, take care of it, it will never rust. Uh, very sturdy, 5mm thick blade stock. So really, uh, can do about anything. So a great fixed blade to have. And over here in the front pouch, I've got my ferro rod. So that's my light, my fire ferro rod. Next here, I have, I guess, what I would consider my tool pouch. Uh, so this is on the right side of my hip. Uh, it's zippered all the way. It's molly attachment. You can see, in fact, as mentioned, everything is molly attachment here. So that would not go anywhere, even if these buckles you know, happen to spring open. Uh, there's more molly attachment over here. I've put some paracord for quick, easy access. Uh, and inside, really, I, I keep some utility items got more paracord my silky saw which i've reviewed as well uh, insect repellent this is military grade or at least issued by the singapore army you need military grade uh, mosquito repellent here because all the mosquitoes here are commando trained got a first aid dressing so quick access by my side and this is my wallet with my personal items and stuff like that so this is uh, water 
resistant or maybe almost waterproof so that goes in there all this really for quick access i do not intend to stuff this too much it's really for me to get to essential items quickly or things that i use all the time easily uh, without having to fumble and you know take out everything from a pouch now let's move to the back over here so this is another pouch i consider this my administrative or admin pouch so this is almost like a butt pack because this rests immediately at the lower part uh, underneath the small of my back. Again, Molly attachment and this one has three Molly attachments, so extremely secure. And uh, there is more Molly kind of attachments using Velcro. So you can put your morale patches over here or I can tie more paracord if I want it. Um, but generally, I want to keep everything as light as possible. This is on my waist all the time and I want to try to keep weight down as much as possible. Now if you're hiking, you know, I don't hike, to put it in context, I don't hike super long distances, so not 20, 30 kilometers, but 5 to 10 kilometers and any weight, whether it's on your waist or on your back, uh, it's still weight. So I'm not an ultra light packer, uh, but I do want something that's lightweight and that's why I chose this kind of a molly system uh, a modern system as opposed to the tr traditional bushcraft which is on leather i know a lot of people like that uh, but leather in this climate uh, would basically just get everything moldy uh, you know and and tools will rust and stuff like that so not 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 really what i wanted so something lightweight or this high quality nylon attached here so over here i do have a uh, sharpening diamond plate really this is just for field sharpening i've got a 400 and 1000 grit uh, so it's double sided and on this side, administrative pouch, I've got a uh, kind of a nut bar just for energy if I do feel I need it, if I'm out on the field. And then I have my survival pouch. So this is my jungle survival pouch and I've shared this in a previous video or so. So do check that out in the link in the card above or the description below. Now nothing much has changed over here except I did change out the power bank and thanks to a subscriber uh, who told me about the night call. Um, power bank which is slightly bigger than the one that I had but it's twice the capacity so this is 5000 uh, MHA so that's pretty good so I have that in here I've also put a small ferro rod inside that's the only addition other than that it is the same as the one I showed in the video so this is pretty heavy uh, and again the weight was shared in the video previously but it's hefty so that's why I don't keep it by my side I keep it at, you know my back so that I don't feel the weight so much uh, but because the survival pouch is such an essential tool, if I get separated from my pack and I just have this belt on me, then, you know, I definitely want the survival pouch on me because it's got everything I need to survive for, you know, 24 to 48 hours. A canteen over here. I use a plastic canteen and there is a metal canteen cup there. In the event, you know, come to a situation where I do run out of water, I need to boil water, uh, then I have that there to boil. Now you might be wondering why I don't use a metal canteen. I'm actually going to do a video on uh, water bottles and canteens soon and I'll explain why I went with this one. Uh, there is a front pouch over here for the water bottle holder and I've got some purification tabs over there. Finally we come around to the front. So this would be my left side and front. This is directly to my left side uh, and this is a Maxpedition kind of a dump pouch. Uh, and this is the largest one they have and basically what it is, I mean actual fact, it's to collect ammo. So it's like an ammo pouch but you can use it as a foraging pouch or you can use it as any kind of a bag or container. And I, I think this is really useful to keep by the side, it just expands open like that. There is a belt which can go around the leg to keep it more secure but essentially it's really just you know, a huge bag as you can see. So if I ever find a golden monkey or something I can, or crystal skull, I can put that in there and be on my way. Uh, but seriously, sometimes you may need to collect maybe kindling, tinder, foraging can be used for that or because I do have uh, plastic bags with my survival pouch. If I ever need to collect water, I can collect the water and hold it in a pouch like that rather than just carry it. So it's basically a utility pouch. It doesn't take up much space as you can see. It folds up. Uh, essentially like that let's get that right so this way yeah. tuck everything in and 
and they're good to go. And finally, really for quick access, it's my gloves. So this is uh, another attachment that's attached through the Molly system over here. But at the same time, I can take my gloves, wrap it around and uh, just keep that in place. Now I used to have my gloves uh, in my pack, in a front pouch, but that was already inconvenient anytime I need it. You know, especially if you're hiking and you're trying to clear uh, a trail and you need your gloves because there's just, you, you don't want to handle, uh, let's say the thorns or the brush. Uh, then you need to get your gloves, then it was a chore just to access the gloves. So now I have it here. So this is my survival kit pouch using the Molly system. Uh, if you are thinking of putting together a survival kit pouch or survival belt, uh, I do recommend uh, this style of system because it's lightweight, it's waterproof, uh, everything is very secure. And I'm not a fan of overloading. In fact, uh, you notice my pouches, they are half filled only and I like to keep it that way. So in the event, you know, based on the scenario or based on the trip that I'm taking, I might put something else uh, inside if I need. But let me know your thoughts about this survival belt. Uh, do you have something similar? Do you think I should add something or take out anything? Do let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.